Hi, I'm John Pettuccino, Professor of Astronomy at College of the Redwoods. This YouTube series will cover material that we cover in our Introduction to Astronomy class, from a meteorite found in Antarctica from the planet Mars and the search for life, all the way through to supernovas and black holes. So our next discussion point is this notion of the speed of light. And as we discussed in lecture, there is a history of trying to figure out not only what is the speed of light, but is there in fact a speed of light. In the early 20th century, perhaps the late 19th century, experiments were done that actually allowed us to measure the speed of light. And it was profoundly fast. In fact, in scientific notation, the speed of light, which we, re we label as C, is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Pull that out of scientific notation, and that is 300 million meters per second. That is 300,000 kilometers per second. Just to put that in perspective, that is 7 laps around the Earth in 1 second. At that speed, light travels between the Earth and the Moon in 1.3 seconds. It travels between the Sun and the Earth in about eight minutes. So in other words, one astronomical unit, which we were discussing earlier, is equal to about eight light minutes. Now there's one other important point we made about the speed of light, and that is, you can't beat it. As far as we know, there's something fundamental about the speed of light, and it cannot be broken. If that's the case, that's the fastest way information can travel from one point in the universe to another. So as we discuss light years, the average distance light travels in a year, or the distance light travels in a year, we recognize that this times the length of a year in seconds will give us that number. And we also recognize that there are some implications to having a speed of light. It means that things can't get there faster under any circumstances. In fact, if we were to stick a mirror 100 light years from Earth and use a telescope and look at ourselves in the mirror, what we would see is the Earth 200 years ago. The light would have left the Earth, traveled for 100 years, hit the mirror, and reflected back off. So we could see 200 years into the past. And it is not novel that we would see into the past. In fact, whenever we look up at the sky, at the stars, at nearby galaxies, we are looking into the past. How far into the past? That depends on how far away we're looking. The nearest galaxy is the Andromeda Galaxy, a full 2.5 million light years away. What does the Andromeda Galaxy look like? I couldn't tell you. Today, I can tell you what it looked like 2.5 million years ago because of the distance. Nearest star, Proxima Centauri, about 4.2 light years away. So we're seeing it as it was 4.2 years ago. So we're always seeing into the past. That's the implication of having a speed of light and recognizing nothing travels faster than light at all. We will, in a later discussion, talk about what we mean by light.